56 billion US dollars. That is the projected size of the medical cannabis market by 2025, according to the latest research. Jamaica's effort to capture a large portion of that growth is receiving an early boost from Jamaican Canadian Steve Conville, whose Toronto based company, Chronic Relief Jamaica, recently launched its Jamaican operation at the Eden Gardens Wellness Resort and Spa in Kingston. I would like to welcome all of you to open your minds and your hearts to the endless possibilities that can come to this nation as we participate in the cannabis industry because guess what? They think we do it every day anyway. Conville raised in Canada by Jamaican parents, says Chronic Relief Jamaica will operate out of the eastern parish of Portland, where the company will build a 25,000 square foot facility in western Portland. It's a country of my parents' birth. It's a country that I'm a citizen of. It's got tremendous resources, um, high quality water, amazing sunlight, um, and a tremendous spirit of people. Um, but also, it's a, it's a nation that has, for so many years, been considered synonymous with uh, cannabis. Um, and so because of that, I feel this is an ideal place. Member of Parliament and Minister with Responsibility for Economic Growth and Job Creation, Mr. Darrell Vaz, says the coming of chronic relief will bring gainful and sustainable employment in the parish but also in the industry which the government has recognized as a major driver of its exhilarated growth vision for Jamaica. We are making slow but steady progress in position in the country to benefit from this potentially huge industry and we want to keep the momentum going. Chronic relief Jamaica will bring their own expertise to the mix, including the construction of a 250,000 square foot facility in Portland. In my dual capacity as minister as, and member of parliament for West Portland, obviously I'm particularly pleased about the job creation benefits of this initiative for the parish. The group has also promised to donate a percentage of its profits to help Jamaican youth gain access to higher education through paid tuition and grants, and we commend them and thank them for this. So to Stephen and the team, we welcome you and look forward to working with you in the efforts to gain a piece of the lucrative medical marijuana pie for Jamaica. Minister Vaz also acknowledged the difficulties facing the cannabis industry regarding the banking sector and said the government was working with its international partners and counterparts to come up with a workable solution to address this issue. Minister Shaw, who now has the direct responsibility for the CLA and the industry. Myself and himself met with the chairman and the CEO of CLA. We had conference calls with the governor of the Bank of Jamaica. We had calls with several overseas heads of banks and local, because we realize that in the short term, there has to be a solution. So I just want to say that we are aware of that as a government. The cabinet has mandated the governor of the Bank of Jamaica to pursue relentlessly a solution. We know what the restrictions are, some of which we have no control over. But one thing is for sure, we have this industry as a serious growth industry, growth for jobs, growth for GDP, growth for everything. And we are going to be on it. And I can assure you that we will work seriously to get a solution in the shortest possible time. Henry Lowe, who as founder and chairman of Medican JA, which is looking to list on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, is also forging a development path in the medical cannabis field. He had high praises for the chronic relief team and said that Jamaica needed to treat the regularization of the cannabis industry with greater urgency in order to avoid missing out on the tremendous benefits to the economy and the society. Steve walked into my office, made an appointment and he said, 
you know, I want to be involved in this cannabis industry. It's going to take a day and a year for me to get involved because I know the slow pace of the CLA. But since you are out in front, I want to jump on your horse and ride with you into the future. And um, what I found very interesting about Steve's approach was that he was a committed foreign Jamaican. Uh, he said he didn't want to be regarded as diaspora, but really a Jamaican living in Canada. But he wanted to bring whatever expertise and money that he could to invest in Jamaica. Once operational, Chronic Relief will be producing and distributing a wide range of cannabis-derived products, from tropical applications for pain relief, currently the largest segment of the market, as well as personal care products and edibles. I'm truly most looking forward to producing like a lot of topical creams, a lot of like digestible uh, orally input medicines is like, you know, we have an aging population, uh, arthritis, osteoarthritis, all these things they are on the rise. And in my own personal experience, I've seen this plant help a lot of people with these problems. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to just producing a very consistent potent, effective means these people can treat themselves without having to turn to chemical pharmaceutical drugs that like may have terrible side effects and things like that. Chronic Relief, Conville adds, is going further than just competing in the growing cannabis market. No matter what the obstacle, we will find a way. We will find a solution. We will get the job done. That is who we are. The launch of the company is also endorsed by opposition spokesman on national security, Fitz Jackson. Brand Jamaica and cannabis is cannabis is a really a, a huge phenomenon. And so I really welcome and applaud them. I wish them all the success. As well as former Commissioner of Police, now a compliance consultant, Owen Ellington, who both hailed it as a positive development for Jamaica. Well, I think it was a splendid function. Um, short and uh, crisp and had the, some of the right individuals, the right actors involved. The minister with responsibility for the industry, who is also the member of parliament for the constituency in which the major project is going to be. Um, other critical players such as um, Dr. Henry Lowe who has been a pioneer researcher in um, the use of cannabis for medicinal purposes and um, the investors. With its license and regulatory approvals in place, the company intends to bring economic and medical relief where it's most needed.